everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've partnered up with Katy Perry Fragrances and I'm gonna be sharing with you all this look. It's inspired by Katy Perry's Indie Fragrance and Body Mist. So here I have Katy Perry's Indie Fragrance and Body Mist and it comes in this beautiful black and white packaging. Katy Perry's Indie Fragrance and Body Mist are both available at Walgreens and I'm gonna have both products linked below down in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. I'm very excited for this video because all of you know me here on YouTube as a makeup artist and I do makeup tutorials for you guys, but in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you all what makes me indie. Katy Perry's Indie is very inspiring inspiring to me because it's all about self-expression and diversity and community and what I really love about it is that it's empowering. It's a very empowering fragrance that celebrates your uniqueness and what makes you an individual. So if you guys want to see me create this look and hear the inspo behind it, then just keep on watching. This fragrance is all about individuality, diversity, and what makes you unique. When I smell the scent of oriental plum and Italian bergamot, my mind takes me to a fantasy land. Unicorns that run wild along rivers that flow to kingdoms filled with flowers and individuals that are free to express themselves in unity. They are all different people with different stories, different faces, different paths, different together. For as long as I can remember, I've been an artist, I've been a dreamer, and I've always loved creating. Pen to paper, lips to microphone, or makeup brush in hand, I've been a creator my whole life. I remember when my mom bought me my very first lipstick. It was called Raspberry Pop and I loved it. I loved looking at the shiny gold tube and that would foreshadow my adulthood and how I would fall in love with cosmetics and transformation. I am a makeup artist. I was never a fresh faced girl and the town I grew up in was full of them. I rimmed my eyes in black eyeliner. I dyed my hair black. I drew on my eyebrows and coated my lips in sparkly glosses. I expressed myself through the way I dressed and how I looked, and it seemed like this made people feel very uncomfortable with me, with how expressive I was. You might be the quiet one, you might be misunderstood, you maybe didn't stand up the straightest, maybe you weren't the tallest person in the room, or didn't fit in with everyone else because of the way you looked. Some might pull your hair to see if it's real or if it will fall, or take pictures of you without makeup to post online. Some will even say, wearing makeup makes you fake. Wearing makeup does not make you fake. Makeup is like magic to me, and that's why I decided to create this unicorn look. I always felt a little different from everyone, like a unicorn at times, rare but magical. With brush in hand, like a magic wand, anything is possible. Ideas in my mind and passion in my heart, creativity flows through my fingertips, and with that, I feel empowered and I feel creative, and I wear it for me. I do it for me, and I will still be me when it fades off, and I'll still be me when I'm covered in it. Makeup does not define me. It does not make me weak. It doesn't make me insecure. It is not a mask that I hide behind or a shield that I need to be strong. It's an expression of however I feel at that given moment, and it tells a story that sometimes words can't describe. You don't have to shrink yourself down to be as small as the town you grew up in. You don't have to hide who you are just to make others feel comfortable. Be your most genuine, authentic, confident version of yourself and embrace your uniqueness. All those things about yourself that make you you, because you're beautiful just being you. And it's okay to be different, we all are different, but we have one thing in common. We're all individuals, different together. And my creations and looks I share online are more than just a creative outlet for myself now. Makeup is an escape. Art is a safe place to go on a bad day, a break, an hour to see a friend. And I create these videos for everyone. And if it brings them joy and makes them smile, if they learn something from it, then I've impacted someone's life in a positive way. And that is a very nice feeling. The red shades in this look resemble my passion and are for roses. Because roses are beautiful and they're soft, but they have thorns and so do I. I'm strong. Art has no language, it has no meaning, it's free to interpret however you see it. Scent is the same, and smell is the strongest sense. For me, a fragrance is like a time capsule, it can flood memories into your mind instantly. When you spritz it on now, you will remember this moment years later when you wore it for the very first time. 
when I smell the scent of white tea, vanilla tonka, and white cedar wood, I'm reminded of this very moment. I'm 23 years old, creating this video you're currently watching. I have a list of promises to myself and dreams that need to be lived. Sleep can wait because there is art to create. And every day that passes me should be lived with intent. The footprint I leave here should tell a good story. I remember that I'm different, I'm me, I'm an artist, and that is what makes me indie.